What is the stupidest thing you have ever said in front of people that you immediately thought please kill me? My boyfriend told me this story about a colleague. They are microbiologists and they work with lab animals, but in his colleague's department they used mice extensively. Needless to say they didn't enjoy that part of the work. And so many mice were being killed they made a dark joke of it, by calling the lab Morshwitz. Well, he had a slip of the tongue while presenting his findings at the end of the year, to the board of senior scientists he worked for. An animal cruelty joke and holocaust joke in front of a group of your employers. Good job. I get really excited about birthdays. Anyone's birthday. In my family they're a big deal. Entire day devoted to the birthday person. Eating what they wanna eat and doing what they want to do. I'm a 911 call taker. I was taking a domestic violent call. This woman called saying her husband and her 20 something year old son were beating the heck out of each other. Typically in a call like that I get names and the date of birth. Dob of all parties involved so that the dispatcher can look them up and see if they have warrants or alerts. If they're dangerous. Carry weapons. Impersonate other people. Associated with a gang whatever. Anyways I'm being professional and trying to get all the info I need. Getting to the end of the call. Cops are just down the road so I ask my caller her name and Dob. She says today, I break out of my professional 911 authority voice and enthusiastically say happy birthday luckily she's cool about it and laughs saying something about how eventful it's been as an ambulance pulls up to her house to check out her hubby's broken nose. You sound like the mom on Bob's Burgers. Once I was in a party, and by accident I met this cute girl from the swimming team where I swam. She said hi to me, and I looked her for a while, not realizing who she was. Oh, hi Lisa, I didn't recognize you with your clothes on. Followed by 10 seconds of silence, since her husband was there next to her. Oh my god, you have hair. It always amazes me at how the girls on my team can stuff all their hair into the cap. In my final play for GCSE drama I was too busy halfway through my monologue watching the well no eye candy in the audience. Accidentally substituted his name for the characters I was supposed to be madly in love with then froze with the spotlight still on me and 300 people laughing. Whoa, if this is true, congratulations on posting it here cause there is no way I wouldn't have killed myself already if it happened to me. I still have no clue how the heck this slipped out of my mouth. I'm a nurse's aide at a hospital, so I'm admitting a patient, and I realize that I've known her and dealt with her all over the hospital for months now. So I say hi, and ask how she's been and all that. The poor woman had lost all of her children in an accident and was now dealing with bad injuries and a chronic illness simultaneously. So we're chatting, joking around, and I bring in a hospital gown and her welcome to the hospital bag. She says oh, I hate these gowns and all the hospital stuff. I always feel so dehumanized. Poor girl. Meanwhile I am still in a joking around frame of mind. I had realized midway through her sentence that I forgot to bring in something. So on my way out, I say in a joking tone ha, huh? I'll be back to dehumanize you here in a second. It'll be back to dehumanize you. It'll be back to dehumanize you. It'll be back to dehumanize you. I happened to catch her eye before I walked out the door, and she just looked mortified at what I had just said. As soon as I stepped outside the realization of what an idiot I am hit me like Mike Tyson, and the most epic cringe rippled through my body, that fail is now burned into my memory forever. Oh come on, that's hilarious. I would have appreciated the joke. In third grade, my teacher started to teach us subtraction and remainders in math class one week. It just so happened that I had finally been allowed to watch Legally Blonde that week as well. Me being the innocent 8 year old that I was, had no idea what the lap dance that had been mentioned in the movie was, and thought that it was harmless. So when my teacher asked the question, if you'd give a cashier $10 for something that costs $3, and he gives you back $8, is this correct? Not sure if this was the actual question, but something along these lines. I responded with maybe it would be if you gave him a lap dance. Only when my teacher started laughing, did I know that I had said something wrong. I didn't find out exactly what I had said until a few years later, and immediately wished I could go back and tell my 8 year old self to shut the heck up. TL. DR. Told my 3rd grade teacher that cashiers would give you extra money if you gave them a lap dance.
Well, you aren't wrong. I was in school, talking about how I don't look a bit like my parents. Then suddenly, I randomly said, I hope I'm not adopted. I would freaking cry. Ah, yep. and I was of course talking to my friend who is adopted. I work at Starbucks and was working drive through A woman wanted birthday cake pops. Seriously not worth the money if you ask me. And I told her I'd run and see if we still had some. Ran breathless back to the window and told her, I'm really sorry. We're all out of birthday dongs. Wanted. To. Die. She gave me such a look. Oh. But I see your car has plenty of sour sea. I was an impressionable youth and I earnestly told a bunch of hip older students that I wanted to take biology so I could study how orgasms work. A co-worker showed me a picture of his kids and I was looking at them and they looked exactly like him. For some reason it really hit home and I was thinking I hope I have kids that look just like me. I went to hand him the picture back and I was like that's so awesome you have two kids that are little versions then my phone rang and I didn't get to finish my sentence. Which would have been two kids that are little versions of you. After I hung up he was like what did you just say about my kids we laughed it off but it was still pretty awkward. TL. DR. I told my co-worker it was awesome he had two little virgins. I had to read that out loud to myself a couple times before I got the joke haha. <laughs> when I was in first grade we were learning about giving and receiving compliments. They brought in a bunch of fifth graders. And we were going around the room of about 45 people, giving each other compliments. They said it doesn't have to be someone in this room. And then it was my turn. I'd like to compliment Adolf Hitler for killing himself. The room went freaking silent. My teacher must have thought I was a deeply troubled child. Explanation. I had just learned about Hitler and how big of a monster he was from an older sibling. So in my 7 year old mind he had done the world a favor by removing himself from the gene pool. To be fair you weren't wrong. Your audience was just about 15 years too young to enjoy the dark humor. Have an upvote. One of my friends. He was at his grandmother's funeral and was standing next to his grandfather, who is obviously very sad. He thought for a while on what to say to break the tension, then said, I suppose you're next in line? I'm sorry for your loss. Get over it. When I first moved to the United States, my classmate told me his name was Tony Montana. One day, my teacher asked us who wasn't here, for the sake of attendance. I screamed, Tony Montana isn't here. The whole class cracked up and I didn't know why. A few years later, I saw Scarface and I finally got the reference. In my mind, I gave a big FCKU to the guy. I actually know a cook named Tony Montana. A few years ago we had to compliment each other in class. I had to compliment my ex everyone in the class knew about our relationship. I meant to say I love your cat. I said I love your pee instead. WTF brain. These words don't even sound similar. Everyone went silent for a few seconds. Longest seconds of my life. The titch's jaw literally dropped and I got sent to the principals. Not my best memory. Whoa. That's one heck of a Freudian slip. When I was about to graduate high school, I had to go in front of my then, the entire church congregation with all of the other seniors graduating and say our name and what college university we were going to be attending. I was extremely introverted and wanted nothing to do with it. I was sick to my stomach the entire time I was up on the stage, and of course, was next to last to go. So finally it was my turn, and while I meant to say my name and that I was attending Western Kentucky University, I said, my name is Derek Ferguson and I will be attending Western State, and at that moment I knew what I had said and immediately regretted it. Everyone started laughing. Western State is a mental institution in Western Kentucky. After that I said, you know what I meant and walked off the stage. I had never been so embarrassed in my life. TL. DR. I told an entire church congregation I would be attending college at a mental hospital. Oh my god I'm in Western Kentucky my uncle is also in the mental institution. I used to work at this place where everyone sat in the same room doing mindless work. And one of my co-workers said, think of a place where, if a bomb went off or a natural disaster happened, it would immediately increase the average IQ for the area. Go. Me. Lake Havasu during spring break. Laughter. Someone. WWF. 
laughter and groans. Someone else, KKK rally, too obvious. Someone else, Chris Angel shows, nice, giggles, me, Nasca, and silence. Silence because the original co-worker's husband made a living building race cars for Nasca. I have never been so embarrassed in all my life. She ran outside, and I followed a little later. Told her I didn't really think that, but was just going with cultural expectations about it. She called me a Nazi, not my best showing. I was in a class of about 15 people and our professor told us since basically all of us failed the same assignment he would go over it since no one apparently understood it. He began by anonymously reading some of the responses we turned in and asked us to explain what was wrong with them. After he read a particularly bad answer that made no sense I said something along the lines of wow that doesn't make any sense. How stupid. He looks right at me and says well that was your paper. Everyone turned and laughed at me and I wanted to die. That one's kinda on you. I was in the lunchroom at work and the oldest guy there was telling a story about a friend who had died after a horrific car accident. He'd burned inside after the impact and was taken to hospital with broken bones, punctured lungs and severe burns over his entire body. The old guy ended the story by saying it was the worst pain he ever experienced to which I instantly retorted. I sure hope so. I didn't even think about it, I just said it. He made a stupid comment and I wound up making light of his friend's death. I think they would cut you some slack for that one. I don't know about stupidest, but most recent. I was meeting with another Reddit moderator and his brother at an event. He had a thick accent and mentioned he was from Newfoundland. I was a bit sleep deprived following a long early flight and mistakenly thought New Zealand, and said something about Kiwis or Australia or something. I wasn't even thinking fast enough to catch my mistake. He had to correct me. I'm pretty sure he still thinks I'm dumb as crap. And honestly, can't blame him. I played right into the Americans are bad at geography stereotype. Not hearing people right literally always leads to disasters. This happened to me last Wednesday. I was in an English class, and we were studying T.S. Eliot's The Love Song of J. Alfred Prufrock. The teacher was asking about his, Prufrock's, name, and how stuck up it was meant to sound. She then asked how it would sound if it were said faster, as if by friends. She was looking for something like Poofrock, but I, in the boringness of the lesson, said Jalford. Jalford, what the heck, you Michael 7198. Haha, <laughs> this one really isn't that bad. Upvote because I would definitely do something like this on accident. Asked a teacher if the marines at our school were recruiting officers or meat shields. Oh god, makes me cringe just thinking about it. Meeting my ex-girlfriend's elder brother who back in his younger days used to be a bit of a gangster. So I'm there 16 years old standing at 5 feet 9 and this 6 feet 3 scary guy walks into the room. So I shake his hand, comma me, how are you, comma him, I am alright, you, comma me, I am good, how are you, it's not that bad but my lord my girlfriend and her mum were cracking up and I felt like a dong. Ah, the accidental conversation loop. My mom worked in an office that shared a parking lot with a Chinese restaurant. We went there a lot and one time when we were out to dinner my brother, 15 at the time, and I, 13, were being typical teenage idiots and my mom was getting fed up with it and wanted us to quit. She attempted to say quit acting like a bunch of goofs but what came out, at a very high volume was quit acting like a bunch of gooks. My brother and I, and the entire restaurant really, were shocked. We did stop goofing around so I guess it was effective. I work at a retail store. It is customary to ask for a license when the customer is making a return. On more than one occasion I have asked for the customer's license plate. So many weird looks with that one. Ha. I actually read that as license plate the first time through. At a corporate retreat, I, practically entry level, once drunkenly told a group of senior VPs of my company that my mom and I used to rip bongs together. <laughs> I started to grow a facial hair early in life, 
I knew a little about puberty but never really cared to learn much. So one day in gym class some classmates were making fun of me because my upper lip was sweating around the little mustache hairs. So I blurted out, you're la just jealous because I'm growing pubic hair on my face already. There was tons of laughter and jokes on my part. That crap didn't let up for years. I went to a private school, just to let you know that things were weirder than most places. Anyways once a month in 8th grade we had a counseling session for our entire homeroom class with the high school guidance counselor. We talked about the problems we had with ourselves and what not. The previous week we talked about people cutting themselves and how to seek help, etc. Anyways after we had this week about talking about cutting, the next week of counseling this girl says to the class that she needs to tell us something. Before she can say what she wants to tell us, I blurt out what, you don't cut yourself do you and I kind of laugh my statement off and smirk. Then without pause she immediately says that she has been cutting herself for a while now. I felt terrible and went quiet for the next hour and still feel awkward about it to this day. I was talking with a mate at a school event about how walruses reproduce. The cliche thing happened where everyone goes quieter right before I said something about wanking off a walrus and well it was loud. I made a joke about a car crash. Little did I know I was talking to someone whose mother died in a car crash. Middle school was a dark time for us all. I used to work in physical therapy. One day I opened the door for a lady in a wheelchair that had no legs. For some dumb dumb reason I asked her if she was going to the foot doctor. She looked at me and then she looked down and said, no, I haven't seen that doctor in a while. I was sitting with my boyfriend and his friends and we were watching a Family Guy episode that was showing a clip about Jesus and in it someone mentioned dinosaurs being around. Without thinking at all I blurted out were there dinosaurs around when he was alive. I still cringe whenever I think about it and I'm sure my boyfriend's friends think I'm a huge ditz. I once proclaimed Mrs. Johnson is obviously a carpet muncher why doesn't she come out of the closet already only to find out she was standing right behind me. All my friends thought it was hysterical. She gave me B in gym. Never did call me out on it though. When a friend of mine was really young, a couple of kids were making fun of him on the school bus and called him gay. Apparently he didn't know what gay meant so he replied with shut up before I make you gay. The very last Christmas my mom and dad stayed married. Our relationship was strained, and I couldn't buy gifts for my parents because I was chronically unemployed and underpaid. My dad bought my mom a bamboo cutting board and I blurted I thought you were, and supposed to use wooden cutting boards because they absorbed bacteria? Cue fatherly disapproval. At my newish job I was hanging out with this cool girl. We had grown into easy friends and it turns out her husband had committed suicide some years ago. We were talking and I said something like ugh. Sitting in an office all day makes me want to kill myself. LOL. Uh. I once said that 50% of Taco Bell's beef is sand. I have no idea where the 50% came from. The whole sand thing was a misconception. Taco Bell meat is just made using CO2. Probably a quarry or a beach somewhere. My senior year of high school, I had a loud and obnoxious Filipino girl who would act sassy. One day we were sitting in class and the girl was having a conversation with the girl next to her and she blurts out I'm a strong, independent black woman who don't need no man so the teacher, nicest dude in the world, kinda easily offended but a fantastic person all around, responds, would you please be a quiet, strong. Independent black woman who don't need no man it was a great response especially with his calm tone. This is when I got possessed by demons. Without consciously thinking it or even wanting to say it, I say, just loud enough for him to hear me. There's no such thing. The genuine shock on his face and uproarious laughter from this one a shat who sits behind me just about killed me. When I was about 15, I was with a friend in her dad's car. He was really scary and strict I might add I was speaking in English to her because I thought her dad did not speak English, OBV English not my first language, and telling her that it would be funny if someone made a band named Woman were and sung the CM of my enemy on my hands. Turns out her dad knew English. A few years back when your mom was a popular response to everything, I was out to dinner with a few friends. 
I had known said friend for months but we weren't super close so when he said, my phone's dead, I blurted out your mom's dead. And of course, his mother had passed away when he was much younger, I knew he had a mom, but I found out then that his biological mother had died and the woman he referred to as mom was truly his stepmom. I have never felt worse about anything in my whole life and I apologized profusely and escaped to the bathroom to cry at how mean I had just accidentally been. He was really cool about it, but you could tell it stung a little. I stopped saying your mom after that. My family last name used to be Poon but it got changed. Fortunately, at this time I didn't know what Poon meant so I just thought it sounded funny. During the first few days of 9th grade I told this story out loud to my whole history class. A few months later I learned what it meant and wanted to die. When I was little, the church I went to used to have monthly songs or something that the kids would sing during the children's message time. One month, the message person asked the group of us kids what we thought the song for this month was. I have no idea what possessed me to say this, but I immediately screened out the Bill Nye the Science Guy theme song to my mortification. The entire congregation burst out laughing at me, and I ran out of the sanctuary in tears. Whilst volunteering at a charity shop I had to cover an afternoon for a manager meeting. On answering the phone instead of saying good afternoon. Cancer Research UK. How can I help I brain farted and blurted out afternoon. Good cancer luckily it was an automated sales call. Not really in front of a person but still felt pretty daft at afterwards. I didn't say it. But I was right next to my friend who did. And you could just see that look in his eyes. Some girl at a bar came up to us when we were on the patio. After some small talk she decides to indulge that she has multiple sclerosis. My friend, trying to be suave, said well at least it's multiple and not just one. As soon as he said it, he knew how stupid it was. Everyone did. Plus, it simply did not make any sense. She left shortly after. Friend shows me a picture of him with a girl on his phone and I ask. Such a hottie. Please tell me you banged her. She was his sister. Back in 2008, when the your mum phase was at the height of popularity in English high schools, some chums and I were having conversation about, among other things, the previous evening's COD4 exploits. Someone in our group laughs at how one of us died on the game. Girl turns shkoked and says who died. To which I, being the hip young man about 2008 that I am reply with your mum. Took me about 5 seconds to remember this girl's mum had died about 3 years earlier in a car accident. Q immediate oh my god I'm so sorry, I didn't mean, whilst being clared at by a bunch of fellow 16 year olds. And with that, my your mum career ended. A blessing in disguise perhaps. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.